Yep, you get experience points from the Gogo -Go Gates. Eee, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Level up her. And Neela's getting a little low on the levels, so I'm gonna do that. And also improve her impact and control, and I'll keep his shot straight. There we go, alright, quick game, yada yada yada, and we flop over to the go-go gates, because past the links is... Huh? I thought... What? I thought there was a... Mushroom... Oh, maybe there isn't... Oh, well, this is awkward, but I have a backup plan. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the doubles tournament at the mushroom course type thing because, well, I might as well, I guess, I guess, and hopefully it'll go smoothly. <laughs> Especially with, you know, how haphazard Neil can be. But anyway, I'm gonna go, yes, yes, over here first, because I don't remember what it was. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. On a, yes, yes, doubles. Uh, five under par for Mario and Luigi. Hmm. Well, that's doable. I mean, as long as Neil doesn't play nearly as bad as he did the last time. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yep, yep. Hi. Yes. <laughs> I'll say that. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be new dialogue, so I'll read through that when we get there. But, you know, there's there's no new dialogue here just yet, so... <laughs> Just gonna have to wait through ye all cutscene, and there we go. <laughs> Double KO again. It's a speech! Mushroom Doubles Cup team champs have come to visit us! Yeah, that was a nice nap, okay. <laughs> Congratulations again on winning the Mushroom Doubles Cup! You two rule the Mushroom Kingdom! Will you two enter the Mushroom Doubles Cup as defending champs? Yes, I will! I am ready! <laughs> and Mario jumps the gun again. Alright. Okay, backup idea. <laughs> I wanted to go over to the main game story to do the doubles thing, you know, to get the high score, but that... I did many attempts on it, and Neil was sucking again every single time. Alright, hole 16 is a nasty one, as you know. So this one might not be a, uh, a birdie hole. Uh, I'm tempted to do that method of going over to that side, but I don't know. I think that's just going to confuse the AI. I'll just put put us over there and then see if he hits over to the island over on the right side where there's fairway. Hopefully, because that's better position than anything. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the heck? <laughs> eh, it doesn't really matter all that much. It's not that long to the island anyway. Uh, uh, what? What the poop it Huh? Why didn't he go for like this over here? Even I don't Seriously? You're gonna do Like this hole is hard enough and then you pull that off and Jeez. So I'm doing something a little bit different here. I'm gonna go over to the nearest to the pin challenge with tourney greens, which is like fast fairway on the greens, and play the full 18 holes at, well, I'm just, well, one shot at the L short course, basically. But this is basically how it works. The thing is, you gotta try and get yourself as close to the pin as possible on each shot, if not in. In is, of course, zero, but the thing about it is that with the fast fairways that I turned on here, it'll be extra difficult. But, you know, it's still still doable and stuff like that. <laughs> so there's the total so far, and you just do this for each individual hole, thusly. So, alright, let's go down and around. Two. Two. Hmm. Hmm. I think that'll be okay. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but I think it'll be okay. Because, yeah, this is an uh, awkward hitting area. Now, you notice that the holes are kind of shuffled around here based on... I mean, they're different than what you they were kind of before. Well, that's because the Elf Short Course isn't really the nine holes you thought it was. The 18 holes are actually different than the nine hole one-on-one-putt challenge. Believe it or not. So, 
<laughs> so here we go, just playing a different mini game at this course of doom. And if we get off the green, fringe including, um, we'll get an automatic deduction. I mean, we'll, I mean, we'll be penalized with 100 feet away from the pin every time. So I guess you can't, in theory, get too far away. But at the same time. Being on the green is almost always better than not being on the green in terms of uh, being close to the pin and stuff like that. And I'm doing pretty well so far. Just gotta make some careful shots to keep things under control. But yeah, you'll notice that the greens, they definitely have a lot of roll to them and bounce to them, don't they? <laughs> That's the tourney green that I was talking about. And... Uh, it also makes putting a lot more tricky because it shrinks the meter, but that's a that's a whole other thing that I'll be playing into a little bit later on. Oh, now this is one of those cases that you might be better off not aiming for the pin, uh, because it could hurt you m more than not. So I'm just going to try and get it on in that flat spot there, and hope it's going to go relatively close to the hole. See, right in the flat spot, nice and safe. At the chunkiest spot. There we go. <laughs> That'll work. And, 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 and uh, this one looks pretty doable. Uh, by the way, I also notice about the L short course is that we're hitting to the same greens we played before, but from different locations. So that's how they managed to fit 18 holes onto this little course. <laughs> But needless to say, since the greens are small and they're oddly shaped, it's still quite a challenge. <laughs> um, let's see here. I want to hit. I just want to go a little bit over to the yeah left of the hole actually, and let the wind push it forward. Control it with super backspin, and let it fly. I guess that looks pretty decent. Good rollout. Oh yeah. <laughs> I will take it! It sure didn't look like it was 1.52 feet, feet away, did it? But details... Uh, oh, this one is... This one always gave me ire on the original course. Uh, hit it there, just for a safe spot. It, the, the, the issue with this one is that when the winds are high, because it's so downhill, it's hard to control its landing and... Well, that worked out pretty well. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Don't... No fringy! No fringy? Okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. Hmm. Uh, so we got a different shot to uh, hole six's green now. Uh, oh wait, where's this hole seven's green on the one-on-one -on -one putt challenge? I think it was hole six's. Yeah, it was hole six's, but anyway. Gonna try and get it close, despite that crown being in my way here. Just gonna try and softly land it at the tippy top, and... well... That's not what I was going for. I want it to be more right, of course, but eh, it's livable, I guess. That's, I guess, my worst shot, <laughs> which is still acceptable. I'm, I'm actually doing pretty. I mean, I'm getting some pretty lucky workouts. I mean, you know how things are turning out here, because there's no wind. I mean, no little to no wind going on here to mess up my shots. So I'm just kind of casually plopping my ball on the green, and that didn't. Hmm. Hmm, I thought it was going to bounce out because the fast fairway greens, but... Okay, now that's my worst result. <laughs> um, ooh. Now we're at hole six of the original challenge. I think I'd actually be better off bouncing it off the side of the hill slightly. Because that'll do two things. It'll bounce me towards the pin, and it'll slow down the ball from rolling off too far. So I think it's actually safer to go for the tighter shot than it is for the, the chunkier side of the green in this case. Okay. Um, and now we're... Oh no, jeez. This is a long shot. Uh, I wanna, oops, I want to go like, yeah. Uh, how about... I, oops. Uh, I don't know how I should play this. I mean, I definitely want it to be on the green, otherwise I don't, you know, I don't want to get that 100-foot penalization type thing. But landing it next to the hole, I don't know. I think I'm going to make this one purposefully a bit long, <laughs> just so I, I keep it nice and safe. 
Just a bit long though, not too much. Just wanna, yeah, use the green to my advantage there, because the fast fairways, they've got quite a rollout going on there. That, that, that's okay. I know that's technically my worst one, but that, that was a tough one. So I'm, I, I will accept that. Um, I'm gonna just not move the cursor at all, I guess. And try and hit the little polka dot of a green. Mm, I mean, yeah, it'll land on there just fine, but will it? Ooh! <laughs> I was gonna say, will it be close? And the backspin got a little, little bit hot there. We're okay. As long as it doesn't backspin off the green. Um, for this one, though, I think I might want to use the wind a little bit there. Move it a little to the left so I get more into the mouth of the green. And hope for the best. Because this is one of the toughest holes on the the one-on-one -on -one putt challenge. Uh, ooh -hoo -hoo, look at that! That is nice. I think this challenge, at least well, kinda. It, uh, it kinda primed me, I guess you could say. I mean, the original thing primed me for this in a way. I mean, yeah, the wind isn't as high in this challenge as it is in the original, but I think that's because they want you to get... like, they have a chance at getting close to the hole on shots. Now, again, I'm just gonna try hitting longer uh, than I would do no... Oh, shoot! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna backspin off the green, but that turned out great, actually. But yeah, I wanted that to be longer, just to be safe, but... Eh. Oh shoot, this is a different angle at hole 9 of the original. Which is a nasty little hole. Uh, I'm gonna hit it about there, I think. Because I want to use the slope to slow the ball down. The wind is high here, but it's in my face, so it's pretty predictable. Uh, yeah, that's safe, I guess. But, you know, I could have gotten a little closer, I think. And hole 17... Oh no! We're hitting to it on the other side! Look at this! Not, not only do we have a drop, but we've got the bunker of doom that surrounds the green. And an awkward landing area. This should be interesting. Again, I'm gonna aim for this long. Oh, I underhit that one, but I'm still gonna backspin it though, because... Yeah, that... Fast fairway green is something nasty. Oh no! <laughs> well, there would have been the end of my one on one putt challenge. But that's okay. There's still technically a whole nine of the original to go. And uh, I'm gonna go. Because there's no wind or anything like that, so I, I, I'm just, it's just a matter of playing the green. And I have to play it a little to the left based on the bounce. So I'm going to play it there, and backspin it. Let's see how this turns out. Um... Um... Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Woo! Alright, 291.84 feet is my record. Want to give it a shot? Post a video response or something like that. Well, you can't do that anymore, but like, post your video in the comments or something like that. And try beating that. I know I could do better than that, because obviously I could hit every green in a single round. That 100 footer there is kind of the blemish of this one. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought, eh, I'll give you a fun little challenge to work on here, even though it's not my best score. Alright, there we go. No holes in ones, though, as you've seen by that zero at the marker there. Not many experience points for playing this game, though, even if you do pretty well at it. But anyway, I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part.